I hope you are thorough with numbers from 0 to 20. If you are not thorough, don't worry, keep practicing. Now, let us learn Lay's article, which is the articles. The articles may be of two types. L'article definite or the definite article. In English, the definite article is the or l'article on definite, which is the indefinite article. A or an. Now, let us see the definite article. In French, the definite article is either le, la, l apostrophe or le. So let us see the rules for placing these articles. These articles are placed before a noun. So the, the article le is placed before a noun which is masculine singular. Let us take the example of the boy. Garçon. Garçon means boy. Now, before the noun garçon, we place the word le because garçon is masculine singular. I hope you understood that. Similarly, the word la, the article la is placed before a noun that is feminine singular. For example, the girl. Fee. Before fee, you place the word la because fee is feminine singular. Did you understand that? I'll repeat it once again. The article le is placed before a noun that is, which is masculine singular. The article la is placed before the noun which is feminine singular. Let us move on to the next one. Which is L apostrophe. Now in French, we have what is called a vowel clash. When two vowels come following each other, we replace one with an apostrophe. This is called an apostrophe. For example, let us take the word école. École means school. Now, since this is feminine singular, we would have to place la. However, here we have two vowels following each other. This is called a vowel clash. When we have two vowels together, we replace the first one by an apostrophe. This symbol here is called an apostrophe. So, before a col, we have to place, place L apostrophe. Similarly, for words where there is a H mute, for example, the word begins with a H mute. Here, the word begins with H, which is not a vowel. However, it is pronounced othel. The H here is silent. This is called a H mute. For words that begin with a H mute, we place L apostrophe. It is called lothel. Hotel is, it is the word for hotel. So, lothel. Now, let us move on to the next, next article, which is lay. Lay. The article lay is placed before a noun, which is either masculine or feminine, plural. So, any noun that is in plural will be preceded by lay. For example, we saw the word garçon for 
the article le. We say le garçon. However, if it is in the plural form, say garçons, then instead of le, we will place le. Similarly, for the word fi, when it is singular, you will say la fi. However, in the plural form, it becomes le fi. L'hotel. Even the uh, words which need L apostrophe to be placed, if it is in the plural form, we would write L-E-S. Les hotel. So have you understood the, indef the definite article? I'll go over it once again. You ne just need to learn the rules and follow them. So in, def in the definite article, we have four. Le, la, l apostrophe, and le. Le comes before any noun that is masculine, singular. Masculine, singular. The word la comes before any noun that is feminine, singular. L apostrophe comes between masculine or feminine and begins with a vowel. Vowel or H mute. And le can be used for masculine or feminine which is in the plural form. So I hope you have understood the definite article. Now let us see some examples of nouns that take the article L apostrophe before them. For example, the word enfant, it means child. Since it begins with a vowel, we place L apostrophe. The next word is appartement. Since this also begins with a vowel A, we place L apostrophe before it. The next word is ordinateur. It means computer. Since it begins with a vowel, we place L apostrophe. We read it as l'ordinateur. The next word, as we already saw, is école. École means, do you remember? Yes, it is school. L apostrophe. We read it as l'école. The next word is examen, which means exam. This also begins with a vowel, therefore, L apostrophe. The next word, ami, means friend. If it is A-M-I, it is in the masculine singular form. If it is A-M-I-E, it is in the feminine singular form. However, since it begins with a vowel, no matter whether it is A-M-I or A-M-I-E, it is preceded by L apostrophe. It is either lami or lami. The pronunciation is the same. The next word is of, which means egg. This also begins with a vowel, therefore we praise L apostrophe. The next word is etage. Etage means stage or flow. Since it begins with a vowel, we praise L apostrophe. The next word is O, which means water. It begins with a vowel, therefore L apostrophe. The next word is hôpital. This word does not begin with a vowel. However, the, it begins with a H, which is silent. We already learned what is called the H mute. Since it is pronounced hôpital, we place L apostrophe. It is pronounced as l'hôpital. The next word is ane. We learned this word when we learned the months of the year. So, since it begins with a vowel, L apostrophe. And finally, the word adult. Since it begins with a vowel, place the word L apostrophe before it. So, let us go over this once again. L'enfant, l'appartement, l'ordinateur, l'école, 
l'examen, l'ami, l'œuf, la tâche, l'eau, l'hôpital, l'année and l'adulte. I hope you understood the words where we use L apostrophe before that. Now that we have seen the nouns that use L, LA and L apostrophe, we will now move on to the next one, which is the plural form. In the plural form, whether it is masculine or feminine, we use the article LES. LES is used for all plural forms, whether it is masculine or feminine. So shall we see some examples? For example, take the word frui. Frui means fruits. Notice the S at the end. This shows that it is in the plural form. So we say le frui. Le frui. The next word is fle. There is an S at the end which shows that it is in the plural form. Fle means flowers. So it is in the plural form, so we use le. Okay? The next one is legume. Legume means vegetable. This is also in the plural form, therefore we use les. Okay? The next one is voisin. Voisin means neighbors. The S at the end indicates that it is in the plural form. Therefore, we use LES, Le Voisin. This word is voiture. See the pronunciation? It is voiture. Voiture means car. Since there is an S, it is in the plural form. Therefore, we say Le Voiture. Let us see these words once again. Le Fruit, which is the fruits. Les fleurs, which is the flowers. Les legumes, which is vegetables. Les voisins, neighbors. Les voitures, cars. You can practice these by trying to name the everyday objects that you use. For example, your book. What do you say for book? Do you remember? Yes, it is livre. Though it is in the masculine form, when we have a number of books, we say les livres. So you can practice by trying to name your everyday objects. You can use a dictionary for help. Now let us move on. Bijou. This means jewel. Notice that there is no S at the end. However, there are some words which end with AL or something, they, and they take UX in the plural form. So, Le Bijou. Here, this word is journaux. Journaux. It is the plural of the singular word journal. Journal is in the singular form. In the plural, it becomes journaux. It means newspaper. So, since it is in the plural form, you say les journaux. In case it is in the singular form, journal, you would say Le journal, since it is in the masculine form. Do you understand that? I hope you are not getting confused. See the next word, animal. It is also in the plural form. This AUX at the end indicates that. Les animaux, it means animals. The next word is bateau. Bateau means boats. In the singular form, this would be B A T E A U. That would be the singular form. In the plural, we add an X. So, since it is in the plural form, we use L E X. Le bateau. The next word is manteau, which means coat. The coat that we wear. Since it, this A U X indicates it is in the plural form, therefore we say le manteau. Okay, let us see these once again. Les bijoux, les journaux, les animaux, les bateaux, les montants. 
Have you understood these? This is a summary of the definite articles. You can try to name the uh, objects that you use every day. For example, as I told you before, your books, la gomme, the rubber. If it is in the plural form, le gomme. So I hope you are not getting confused. If you are confused, just go over it once again. It will be clear. Now, let us learn numbers. Today, we will learn how to pronounce numbers from 0 to 10 in French. So let us begin. Les nombres. It means numbers. Let us begin with zero. The number zero is pronounced as zero. The number one is pronounced as a. The number two is pronounced as the. The number three is pronounced as thrua. The number four is pronounced as quatre. So let us say this once more. Zero, a, the, thrua, quatre. Let us move on to the next set of numbers. The number 5 is pronounced as sunk. Repeat with me, sunk. The number 6, though spelled the same as in English, it is pronounced as seas. The number 7 is pronounced as set. The number 8 is pronounced as wheat. Listen carefully, it's pronounced as wheat. The number 9 is pronounced as nuff. And the number 10 is pronounced as this. So let us say it once again from the beginning. Zero, a, the, trua, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, and dix. Let us say it once again, this time slowly. Zero, a, the, trua, Quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. Was it easy? Don't worry if you didn't get it the first time. Let's go over it once again. Zero, zero, one is un. Two is the. Three is trua. Four is quatre. Five is cinq. Six is six. Seven is set. Here we need to note that the letter P is silent. So number seven is pronounced as set. Eight, wheat. Nine, nuff. Ten, this. In order to learn the French numbers, you need to practice every day. You can start by practicing saying your phone number in French. Now let us go over this one last time. Zero. Zero. 1 
a you should watch carefully two is the the number three is through a i repeat through a number four is catra catra number five is sunk sunk six seas seas number seven is set set number eight is wheat look properly wheat number nine is love love and number 10 is this this now shall we learn numbers from 11 to 20 let's go the number 11 is ons look at the pronunciation carefully it is ons The number 12 is pronounced as doos. Doos. The number 13 is pronounced tres. Tres. The number 14 is pronounced Katos. Katos. The number 15 is pronounced as Cans. The pronunciation is different from the spelling. It is pronounced similar to the English word Cans. Cans. So let us say it once again. 11 is ons, dus, tres, katos, and cans. Let us go over to the next five numbers. The number 16 is pronounced as says. Say it once again, says. The number 17 is DZ. If you notice, these stands for number 10 and set is number 7. 10 plus 7 gives us 17. Easy, isn't it? Similarly, for the next number, 18, as you would guess, it is these which is number 10 plus number 8 do you remember what is for number 8 in French yes it is wheat for number 19 you would have probably guessed yes it is these enough which is 10 plus 9. So number 17 is DZ, which is 10 plus 7. Number 18 is these width, which is 10 plus 8, which is 18. For number 19, it is these nuff, which is 10 plus 9. For number 20. It is that. Notice that the T at the end is silent. For number 20, it is van. So let us say these numbers once again. For 16, it is says. Says. For 17, it is DZ. Number 18 is these wheat. Number 19 is these nuff. And number 20 is van. So let us say it once again from 11 to 20. Number 11 is ons. Number 12 is 
दूज नंबर थर्टीन इज थ्रेज नंबर फोर्टीन इज खतोस नंबर फिफ्टीन इज खैंज नंबर सिक्सटीन इज सेज नंबर सेवनटीन इज दीज नंबर एटीन इज दीज विथ नंबर नाइनटीन इज दीज नफ एंड नंबर ट्वेंटी इज वैम वंस यू लर्न नंबर फ्रॉम वन टू ट्वेंटी द रिमेनिंग इज वेरी इजी सो जस्ट बेर विद मी लर्न दीज नंबर्स थरोली द अदर्स विल बी वेरी इजी सो लेट एस गो ओवर इट वंस अगेन ऑन्स डूज त्रेज कथोस कैंज सेज दीज दीज विथ दीज नफ एंड वैम कैन यू से ऑल द नंबर्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू ट्वेंटी जॉइन मी जेरो अ दुआ छात्र सैंक सीस सेथ विथ नफ दिस ऑन्स दूस Tres, kathos, kans, says, dizet, dizvit, diznaf, van.